Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be getting rid of skin tags. Whether you have a large patch of skin tags or you have a single hanging tag. Now guess what? This remedy is also great for moles. It's good for scars and dark spots on the skin. Basically wherever you have it on the body. Now we all know that skin tags sometimes are very embarrassing, especially if they are at places on the body that makes you uncomfortable such as all over your face hanging from your neck and I noticed some people have it all over their back now this remedy can treat a large area as well as a single hanging tag so if you have skin tags if you have molds if you have dark spots and blemishes that you're looking to fade in a fast and easy way using natural remedy well this video is for you so continue watching what is a skin tag? A skin tag is a small flap of tissue that hangs off the skin by a connecting stalk. Skin tags are not dangerous. They are usually found on the neck, chest, back, armpit, under the breast, or in the groin area. Skin tags appear more often in women, especially with weight gain, and in elderly people. Now here are some pictures of skin tags, flat ones, hanging tags, and also of moles. Now, what is a mole? Moles occur when cells in the skin grow in a cluster instead of being spread throughout the skin. These cells are called melanotysis and they make the pigmentation that gives skin its natural color. So now, let's get in the kitchen and make this wonderful remedy. Our first ingredient is onion. And the vitamins and minerals in onion, especially the sulfur, help to get rid of skin tags and moles. Onion has the most powerful antioxidant that can keep your skin also wrinkle-free. It also has anti-aging qualities and can be used to get rid of spots and blemishes such as the mole and the wart on the skin. Our second ingredient is baking soda. And baking soda is an excellent remedy for skin tags and moles also for for blackheads and acne. Now baking soda have antibacterial properties and it is great for getting rid of spots and blemishes on the skin. Now when I mix this baking soda with the other ingredient, it's going to create a powerful remedy for getting rid of skin tags and also moles, warts, pimples and blackhead on the skin. Our next ingredient is apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar is another wonderful ingredient for getting rid of warts and moles on the skin. Now apple cider vinegar is used for generation on the skin for taking care of not only moles and warts but also for soaking your feet. It is also great for acne. It's great for a lot of skincare issues. So mixing this apple cider with the other ingredient is going to do wonders is going to quickly easily remove your skin tags and also blemishes now i have an optional ingredient here and this is tea tree oil tea tree has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties which is great for the skin and tea tree oil is also known to help to get rid of molds and warts on the skin for this recipe you're going to either need a blender or a grater whichever you choose so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to prepare the onion I'm using about a quarter of this onion. So I'm just gonna peel the onion. So I just peel the onion and I'm gonna chop. At this stage, if you do not have a blender, just go ahead and grate the onion. You can also choose to double up on the ingredient. However, I like it fresh and this amount could last you well over a week. So I'm just gonna blend. 
and do not add any water to this, okay? Now, after blending our onion, I'm gonna strain, since we're only gonna be using the juice. So we're just gonna strain the onion. And you can use any onion that you have. It don't necessarily have to be red onion, okay? And this is the onion juice, and this is about one tablespoon of onion juice. And now we're gonna add the other ingredient. I'm also gonna use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, mixing it with our onion. And for baking soda, I'm gonna be using one tablespoon of baking soda. And for the tea tree oil, I'm gonna be using about six drops. Remember, this is optional. And then I'm just gonna mix this together and you're definitely gonna have this reaction. So you're gonna keep blending until it stop foaming. Just blend, blend. And as you can see, it is slowly going away. The foam has stopped. So just keep blending. And now this is ready. And this is what it should look like. Make sure to get rid of all the baking soda at the bottom and your treatment is ready. Now for this treatment, you can choose to store this in a glass container. I'm gonna keep mine in a glass container, so I'm just gonna pour this in, get everything out, mix. And this is what it look like. Now store this in your refrigerator for about 10 to 15 days. It's still going to be good. Just make sure to cover it tightly. Now for application, always make sure to stir it before you use it because the baking soda is going to be settled at the bottom. So just mix well before you use. Now if you're using this to get rid of molds, you're going to use a cotton pad. You're going to saturate the cotton pad, not a lot, just a little. And you are going to apply this to wherever you have molds on the body and you're gonna rub it in in a circular motion and you best use this at night since it do have a strong smell so you apply it to the area where you're getting rid of your molds now wear it on your skin for at least five hours then you're gonna rinse off and you apply your favorite moisturizer you want to use this for molds at least once per day every day for best result okay so that is for molds if you are getting rid of skin tags if you have a lot of fine skin tags all over your body you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna put some on a cotton pad and you are going to apply it to wherever you have the skin tag. Circular motion, wear it for five hours or more, and then you rinse off. Now, if you have a hanging skin tag, you're going to use a bandage, okay? So what you're going to do, remember to mix, you're going to dip your cotton pad in, and you are going to apply it to your onion tag. Just pat it on the tag like this. Make sure to cover the root with it. And then you're going to apply your band-aid over it. Now for your onion tag, you could wear this much longer. Just apply it directly to the onion tag. Cover it with your band-aid. Wear it for 12 hours or more if you choose to. You rinse off and apply the next day. And before you know it, you are going to be losing all those skin tags your molds are going to be fading and you are good to go another wonderful thing about this remedy is that if you have acne scars spots and blemishes on your body or on your face you can use a little of this on the area not a lot just a little because this is tend to be a little strong so use it on the areas where you have dark spots and blemishes also you could give this a go on your scars okay? so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave your comments those are very important also if you give it a thumbs up that's how i know you like the video now if this was your first time watching look below you're going to see the word subscribe just click on it and you will be subscribed also if you want to get a notification as soon as i upload a video click on the little bell at the side therefore as the video is uploaded you'll get a notification right away thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video video. Bye-bye.